I'm uh, uh, Michael Coughlin, and I'm in my 60s. Actually, I get the gold card. And uh, I make the odd coffin or two. I grew up on a farm just south of Timaru in a place called Kingsdown. And there was a big shed there, so I used to uh, go out into the shed and there was lots of nails and wood and bits and pieces and old bits of machinery around the place. So quite often I would construct things with these pieces. In fact, I did a, a huge dobbin which would carry about seven or eight people, uh, which we would need about seven or eight people to push up a hill and uh, ride down the hill on them. When somebody dies, it's a really roller coaster process because you have to get somebody sorted and you know, have to deal with a physical body that's in a state of decay if nothing happens. Um, they can be embalmed, but a lot of people don't get them embalmed. But it's like this three or four days, and you just that's all that people are focused on. So if they can sort out something like a casket beforehand, um, it, it helps the process of dying, I think, for them anyway. You know, so one of those things that they can sort of feel a bit more relaxed about. Some people have other aspects. They might play the music at the funeral or do the flowers while I make the casket. So that's my role. People, if they want a coffin, they always have to get it through an uh, undertaker or funeral director. And so they can approach me directly to get one rather than dealing through them. So that's the other plus about, from, me, from my point of view, for them anyway. Part of my design is you know, I use uh, plywood. So it's light, it's very light and strong and uh, it's got lots of grain and characteristics in it. Then some of the parts I use for brackets is um, a solid pine. So I, I like that because it's easy to work and I can shape it, put nice uh, shape in it. And then the handle is a rail of uh, peeled macrocarpa. So it's a bit of a challenge to find these. I have to find these and you know, go up into the forest and find a few, uh, a few of these. Well, there's lots of side branches on a macrocarpa tree and they have got a nice curve shape to them usually because side branches generally they aren't straight and they have a nice curve and also i don't destroy a tree um, i'm quite keen on having branches i just like the idea of that's all that i need from a tree i don't need to have anything else and uh, a branch is intrinsically very strong because it's it's built that way to be very strong uh, so even though it can be quite thin it can still be very strong I'm quite connected with this location. It's all also when I come to these places, they're a great place to spend a bit of time. And if you've got a reason to be in a place like this, it's even more, you know, it's like if I go somewhere and look around for a few branches. Um, and also even in this location, I actually proposed to Kathleen up there somewhere. So um, that was, so I connect with the spot and uh, it's got some great views. Sometimes on a warm day, I'll come up here and uh, bring a thermos and have a cup of tea at the same time. So. It's like, what better things to do with my time than come strolling around these trees, cutting a few branches, take them home, peeling them, I think. Yeah, it's quite pleasant, really. Yeah, sometimes I like to think when people are carrying it, I tell them where the, uh, the macrocarpa branch came from. And uh, you know, a branch or a stick is very symbolic because people walk around with sticks and it's like a staff of life, so to speak. It's got quite strong symbolism, I suppose. And the other thing is it's a rail, so people holding on to the casket all connected through this one rail. One day I had um, a ring from a guy called James, who I know, and he mentioned that he had a, a very close friend of his was dying with a brain tumour. He had been in remission, but had come back fiercely. 
and uh, he was very keen to have one of my caskets. My friend Andrew was dying of um, uh, brain cancer and he'd had several operations overseas and uh, it was at the point where um, there was no more they could do medically for him. So I rang Michael and um, said to him, look, I've got this situation with this friend of mine and uh, I'd talked with Andrew about what he wanted during the process of his um, final stages of, of his cancer. Michael approached it um, very humanely. He was, he, he was very relational in his approach to this. Michael's philosophy on death is, is interesting. So he just was very comforting. He, uh, he designed something that Andrew wanted, which I think is a wonderful thing. Um, he had to have a few extra screws and a little bit of extra timber put in it. Andrew was a big boy. Um, but he, uh, he, he just wanted to. He just wanted to help. He just wanted to be there, and he wanted to play his part in Andrew's, um, the, the final part of Andrew's life, leading up to the funeral. It's sad to see people go that are close, but we're on this road all together. We just keep moving along, and some people drop off the road, move to the side, and others carry on. And then there's new people join us, young people, babies join us along this trail of life. I think when somebody dies, we come to the realisation how, how important they were in our lives. So that's, that I'm talking about people that are close to me that have died. And uh, it's quite that occasion when they stop, they're not here anymore. And I, I think it's quite important how we realise how close they are. And so sometimes we can take people for granted when they're alive and not really appreciate them as much as we could. So maybe to all those friends and people around us that we could just appreciate them more now when we have the chance to. And go, if things go wrong, be more open to settling differences and stuff like that and not holding grudges. Because you know, if they die, we haven't got the chance. And that sort of carries on in our lives. We say, I wish I had done that. But I think it's... The takeaway thing for me is really to appreciate people around us while we have them here and have fun with them.